the producers we're have told me they're going to redo Flock because there is some uh, recording issue with the sound, and people in Facebook were saying they couldn't hear it. Okay, sounds great. All right, take it away, Flock. So uh, yeah, here's Alyssa with Flock. <laughs> round two. Round two. Uh, hi uh, everyone. Hi everyone. And these are my teammates and friends, Alexa, Alyssa, and Pat. And together we built Flock. Uh, nowadays, people move around so often that oftentimes our closest friends live in totally different cities. And it's hard to make the time and the plans and save the money to see each other regularly. So let's say that our time at Full Stack has ended. We've all gone to our separate cities, but we want to meet up for some kind of reunion this summer somewhere. We want to flesh out our plans from beginning to end. Let's use Flock. Thanks, Alyssa. So when I log into Flock, I'm greeted with the user dashboard. Here I can create a trip and invite my friends. I can also view and accept or decline invitations to trips. Um, I can see a real-time data visualization of the top cities traveled to by all of our users, along with the top activities from these cities, in case I'm in the need for some trip planning inspiration. I can also access a few upcoming trips, which I'm excited to go on, and I have access to prior trips itineraries, so I can always reference what I did on a trip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a trip and invite my uh, Capstone teammates. As you can see, we're each coming from our own individual cities with our own individual budgets. Alyssa's coming from New York, Alyssa from Philadelphia, Alexa from Omaha, and myself from Chicago. When I generate a list of cities that we can go to, Flock makes an API call to get all of the routes that each of us can individually travel to. Flock passes all this information into our algorithm, which returns a list of overlapping cities, AKA our list of potential destinations. My friends and I are each given three votes so that we can emphasize which city we want to go to. The list is then automatically sorted by popularity, which helps us to select our final destination. In this case, Seattle. Now that we have a destination, Alyssa is going to start planning the details of our trip. Now that we know where we're going, I'm going to enter my hotel and flight information on the dashboard so my friends know when I arrive and depart. Then I'll head to the idea board where I'll select my ideas of what we can do. Flock uses Firebase for this section so I can see in real time what these guys are adding. On the left, I'll search using either a category icon or a search of my own. This is hooked up to the Yelp API and only searches within our destination city. Then I'll drag and drop my favorite activities onto the idea board. On the right, I can see what my friends are adding. It looks like Alyssa has added Seattle Coffee Works to her board, so I'm gonna drag it onto mine so I can reflect I'm interested as well. After I've dropped some ideas onto my idea board, I'll head over to the schedule tab. I love to plan, so I want to lock down what we're doing and when as soon as possible. Updates on this page, similar to the idea board, happen in real time thanks to Firebase. And when an activity is dropped onto the page, the text changes color as well, so you can see what your friends are moving around while you're on the same page. On the left, I'll toggle between my ideas and my friends' ideas, just to see if there's anything else interesting that they maybe found that I didn't. And I'll hover over these avatars to see whose ideas these were in the first place. Like Pat, who seems to want to go to a brewery first thing on a Tuesday morning. Or Alexa, why does she keep making us go to the Bad Art Museum of Art? Alexa? I've never been to Seattle before, and I don't know where any of our activities are in relation to each other. I'll click over to the map. When I click on a date, activities are sorted chronologically. And routes are created so I can quickly see how feasible our plans are. For example, Marymore Park Concerts is on the complete opposite side of Salty's on Alki Beach. I'll click back over to the schedule and move Marymore Park Concerts to a different day. Now, if I go back to the map, I can refresh my route and see that it's been updated. That looks a lot better. Finally, all of our trip information is compiled in one easily accessible itinerary. From here, I can see flight information for everyone in our group, and I can also see our completed schedule of activities for our trip. The itinerary is always going to be available even after we've completed our trip, so I can always refer back and see, uh, let others know what fun things we discovered in Seattle. Now we're ready to go on our trip. If you want to plan your next adventure, visit us at flock-travel.herokuapp.com. Thanks. All right, well done, well done, Flock. Let's give him, a, let's give the crowd out there a second chance to vote for Flock. Like the post, like the pinned comment. I, I think Chicago is um, hoping to retain the crown, the project crown, for the last two times. Um, so let's let's get all those votes out there for Flock um, if you're into traveling. The, yeah. okay, 
that's that's an awesome um, awesome set of projects, Chicago. I think wide breadth and a lot of cool things. I think a lot of a lot of games that we've seen for the first time, right? Bananagrams, uh, things with that you know a convergence that really reminds me a lot of like code names with um, code names with how nine thousand kind of thing, and um, and yeah, just a great set of projects. Yeah. It's a great so K, range of K stuff. K through twelve tools. Um. Yeah, a lot of AI, a lot of like AI projects that I, I say. Um, very cool. 